Hello, I'm Neil. This is the Dad Delivers vlog. It's uh, where I get to try something new each and every day. And today I'm trying this. This is a bit of a, I want to sit down, but look, I look a bit stupid behind, <laughs> behind the fly mode. I, I know I'm going to commit to it. Today I'm trying this. I'm trying to remove the blade from a fly mo hover mower. And this particular mower is, now I'm going to stand up. This is the Flymo Simply Glide 330. And it's lovely. I've got a link in the description to, to the mower and to all my other videos about this. But I've never ever taken a blade off uh, a mower or a Flymo before. So I'm going to try it now on camera, step by step, so that you can follow along. You're probably aware of this, but you need, you need a tool that came with the mower. Bizarrely, we've managed to keep hold of ours. These always get lost. And if yours is missing, I've put a link in the description to uh, one that you can buy on Amazon. And I'm also trying this. There are spacers that come with the Flymo Simply Glide 330, which means that the, the blade is lower and that means your grass is shorter. And I really like the idea of shorter grass and doing less mowing. I guess we should just dive in. It's got a strange hexagon shape on the bottom of this tool and that fits the bolt here exactly. I'm sure you could probably do this with a with a spanner, but what I've quickly worked out is that you've got to hold the, the spinny thing here by the round thing, not obviously by the blade because that would be quite painful, I think. And then we'll turn it anti-clockwise like this. And the bolt is quite long. So what I'll probably do is take the tool off and then just turn it by hand. Have you done this before? Leave me a comment, say hi, it'd be good to hear from you. You might need to do this if you are actually replacing a Flymo blade. I'll put a link to a brand new blade there. Ours isn't looking too good, um, mainly because I keep running it over all kinds of stones in the garden and Casper's holes which are a challenge for, for me and the mower. But I'm gonna stick with this blade and you can see it's just, it's come off really easily. If you look even more closely, there are some holes uh, around the edge of where the bolt goes, which is where the spacers come in. I've got two sizes that came with this mower. There's like a double width spacer and a slightly smaller spacer. I'm gonna, I want to go for the really short grass, but I'm going to go for the wuss version just to just to make sure it doesn't hit any stones or paving stones. What's great with the spacer is that it's got these these dots on. It's got these two studs, and the two studs should fit in the two large holes there. And with my one, there's there is a lot of debris in the in the holes. But if you just push it in. So where you think the holes are, it, it fits snug and it is actually flush with this uh, spinning motor thing. I'm going to put the blade back on and of course there's a right way and a wrong way to put the blade. <laughs> Who said it had to be easy? Thankfully, Flymo have put on one side, this side to grass is actually etched, engraved in the blade. So I'm going to keep that side up and it looks as if the holes themselves, they fit exactly on these studs on the spacer. So that will stop the blade uh, moving around independently. Then I'll put the bolt back in and screw it up by hand. I'm going to use the tool to tighten up the bolts for the final few turns. And I'm gonna hold the circle thing so I don't slice my hand. I don't wanna go too tightly and break the thing, but I think that's tight enough. That's not budging. So now we're good to go. Don't forget, if you need these tools, I do have links to them down, down below in the description. This is my mower after changing the, the blade's spacing. It seems to work, it seems to be going. I'm calling this a dad delivers success. Right here are all my other garden videos and thanks for watching. Good luck with your fly mow. Can you please help my daddy get 10,000 subscribers? Just click on his face. Thanks, bye. Alright, this is going to be the proper one, right?